Good morning. Today we're at Aldi. We're going to check out some of the things you guys have asked about. Check the shelves, check some of the sales. Let's get to it. So as soon as we come into Aldi here, I wanted to point out that they are out of their version of the Cheez-Its. Um, a lot of the stores around here have been out of a lot of stuff lately, so we're going to try and see what we can find. They do have some of the golden rounds of the Savorites, which a lot of you guys have said that these are nothing like Ritz crackers. It's kind of curious. We've never tried those. It does seem like they're out of a lot of stuff that they normally have in here. They do have the saltines. Uh, I have tried these. Yeah, they're not premium crackers, but, you know, they're, they're good in a pinch. 85 cents a box, not too bad. They do have the oyster crackers that some people have asked about. 89 cents. Those were 85 cents. I don't know why, but they went up 4 cents. And they are out of the Benton Oreo cookies, which in my opinion tastes exactly like Oreos, but a lot cheaper. Uh, they don't have them in right now, but they do have the Oreo packs for $4.82. I'm going to try and do the best I can. This place is very crowded today. Um, they do have the peanut butter fudge cookies, which I kind of compared to the Girl Scout ones. These are only $1.85. Uh, we noticed Girl Scout cookies are up to $5 for like a small box now, and I, these are really good. They do still have a bunch of the honey roasted peanuts, which we've kind of found um, that honey roasted peanuts have kind of been missing across the city. Good to see Aldi still has them. Somebody had asked about honey roasted cashews. I haven't seen honey roasted, honey roasted cashews anywhere. They do have the regular dry roasted peanuts too. $1.75, comparable to Kroger. Kroger, I think right now is $1.99, maybe a little more. Somebody had said that the Benton's graham crackers are pretty good. Um, they do have the regular this week. They didn't have these uh, about a week and a half ago. But the ones you guys were talking about were the cinnamon ones. $1.55 a box. That's a pretty good deal. Might have to try these at some point. Some of you guys were saying that your Aldi has had trouble getting in the show care uh, chocolates. Uh, they do seem like they have you know plenty here. But they do have a row that's kind of missing here at the bottom. And they have the Moser Roth bars for $1.99 a piece. Now, I compare these to Ghirardelli, but not. I would definitely choose Ghirardelli over these. But the Shocare bars, we've tried a couple different ones here. The Dark Hazelnut and the Raisin and Nut. They're not bad. I wanted to point out that they do have the Crispy Oats cereal that a lot of people have compared to Honey Nut Cheerios. They do have the family size boxes in for $2.49. That's a great deal because we've seen that the family size Honey Nut Cheerios has gone up to $3.99, uh, sometimes $4.49, depending on where you go. They are, however, out of my favorite raisin brand. They do have the crunchy granola, but I don't care for the granola. Um, I just like the regular run-of-the-mill raisin brand. Run-of-the-mill-ville. <laughs> yeah, this place is very crowded today. It might be the most crowded I've ever seen it. It could be because of the lack of products in a lot of stores around here in Cincinnati. Um, things have been missing everywhere. I will show they do have their blueberry muffins back in. They were out of a lot of these uh, about a week and a half ago. And um, one thing I do like about Aldi is, we, you know, we've only been shopping here for a few months. But I will say pretty much every product, minus a couple little things, have been very good. So we saw at Meijer, their personal watermelons are $4.99 now. $4.99. $3.29 here. They did have cantaloupes for $2.99, but they are $2.00. 59 here which is a pretty good deal um, and some of you had talked about the kiwi fruit uh, they do have a package of them here for four dollars and 39 cents which we have been having trouble finding kiwi everywhere so um, and a lot of this stuff i would recommend uh not worrying too much about the price if you need it you know it might be worth a couple extra pennies to not spend the gas to go to another store because one thing you might run into like what we have been lately is the other store not having the product. I did want to say too, for a three pound bag of Gala apples here, and these look really good, for $3.49 is a pretty good deal. There are a lot of people here, so I'm gonna to have to like go to different aisles and then maybe come back to produce, kind of switch back and forth today. There's a ton of people and I don't want to get in anybody's way. It's good to see that a lot of their cheeses are back in. Um, a lot of their more fancier style cheeses. I will say, for $2.99, this was up to $3.99. I was like, eh, it may not be worth it. I tried this. It is okay. It's not like the one that I get at Kroger Marketplace. But for $2.99, that is a great deal. And it is definitely worth $2.99. All of the Happy Farms dairy products that we've tried from Aldi have been great. 
uh, the solid cheese, $1.75 for that. Somebody had commented a while back on Havarti cheese. Um, they finally got it back in. They haven't had it in a long time. The Emporium Selection. Uh, never tried it, but a lot of you guys commented on it as your favorite cheese, so just letting you know they got it back in. And sliced cheese has been going up and up. Good to see they're still keeping it at $1.79. We saw it at Meyer for $2.19, and then Kroger's has had it for $2.19. Then I think they shot up to $2.29, so that could be another reason why a lot of people are here at Aldi because they are trying to save a few dollars and trying to find products that other stores just haven't been able to get in. They do have a few of our favorite biscuits in here. Now this is the Aldi brand uh, bakehouse. Uh, the, nobody's been able to get in the Pillsbury Jumbo Biscuits. And this is the first time we've seen these here in a while. 99 cents, great deal. And this is what I use for chicken and dumplings. Yes, I know I'm lazy. But um, yeah, just glad to have it. Gonna go ahead and get one, make sure we have an extra one. So I don't know, this looks like a special sale on the hams, $1.49 a pound. All spiral hams will be discounted 50% through 213.22. Discount will be taken at the register. So hopefully that has that same sale at all the Aldi's across the country here and beyond. Um, another thing I wanted to point out are the pizzas here. They do have a lot more of the pizzas back in than they've had in a long time. We've kind of gotten mixed reviews on them. We still haven't tried one, but we've had a lot of good comments and some not so good comments. Just wanted to point out they are back in and they are pretty cheap. I mean, this is a huge pizza for $4.99. Huge Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen, 16-inch Supreme for $5.99, and just a five-cheese pizza for $4.99. I mean, these are some good deals. And they got the uh, Thin Crust Mega Meat, $4.99. That does look pretty good. Now, I had gotten a comment on the Bratwurst from Aldi not being that great. Now, I can vouch for the ones at Meyer, but we've never tried the Bratwurst. The Italian sausage here is okay. Uh, I still prefer Kroger, but the bratwurst, um, yeah, I don't know. We got, I don't know if we got one positive comment on that, but they are $2.99, so if you like them. One of the things that always looks good at Aldi is the pork. Uh, the ribs, I mean, this is Tyson, $4.99 a pound, so that's a little expensive. They have a two-pack boneless pork tenderloin, though, $3.99 a pound. Uh, we saw at Kroger. Uh, that sale may be over. I haven't been back yet, but they did have buy one get one free um, Boneless pork country style ribs 379 a pound not the best deal But you know with everything going up and here's the important thing is they have chicken now We have been having trouble finding chicken all over the place also have the family pack chicken breast limit four, please So I don't know if there is a limit, but they would please like you to limit to four. So let's stick to that um $1.89 a pound. I mean, this is pretty cheap. These are four huge chicken breasts for $11.64. We've used this for a lot of stuff. Chicken and dumplings. All the chicken here has been good. The Kirkwood, a lot of people are saying that it's basically Tyson. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's delicious. I'll say that. So as far as hamburger goes, we've had good and bad from here. Uh, the first time we got it, it wasn't that great. We tried it again. And I gotta say, it wasn't too bad. The 80%, we had the 73% the first time, so that's probably why it wasn't that good. We did the 80% much better. It was like completely different hamburger. And they have all different kinds. You know, they have the 90% for $4.99 a pound. That's not bad. I mean, that's pretty close to what, it's, what it is at Sam's Club. Sam's Club is a little cheaper and arguably better, but they do have the ribeye steaks on sale, $11.99 per pound. Now this was $14.99 a pound like a couple weeks ago. They still have their stew meat on sale, $5.49 per pound, which we've seen that as high as $7.99 a pound. So Aldi's is doing a good job of keeping these prices down, at least as much as they can. One issue we have kind of been seeing lately is potatoes kind of going up in price. Now they do have the 10 pound bag of russet potatoes for $3.99. About as good a deal as we're gonna find. So we got a lot of comments the last time we were here that Berman's tomato ketchup tastes exactly like Heinz. $1.49 for 38 ounces. 38 ounces of Heinz ketchup right now. I believe it's on sale at Kroger, but regular price is like $3.49 uh, for 38 ounces. We usually get the bigger one uh, sometimes on sale for $3.99. I think that's 48 ounces. They do have the Dole 
iceberg lettuce heads for $1.39, which is way cheaper than we've seen it anywhere. It's been $1.79 pretty much everywhere. Meyer, Kroger, Walmart. Um, and actually, I think it might be a little cheaper here now, too. I could have sworn that this was $1.69 the last time we were here. Um, because $1.39 really sticks out to me here. That seems pretty cheap. Just like everywhere else, Aldi is very low on juices. We've been having trouble finding any kind of juice. Uh, I will say we have seen Welch's around, but not much. Um, yeah, they do have the old orchard like they do at some of the dollar stores around here. Uh, $1.85, $1.95 for the apple. Cranberry is $1.85. They do have some V8 and their version of V8 which we saw that V8 has gone up for 64 ounces, went up to $3.99 at Kroger, $2.98 here for the same thing. And they do have their version for $1.64. Now we like the Kroger vegetable juice, which is right next to the V8 if you're at Kroger. In my opinion, I, that's what I use in my vegetable soup. I think it tastes better. Uh, it's a little thinner, but as you cook it and cook it, it thickens up. Sometimes when you use V8, I don't know, it just kinda, uh, it, it, it almost gets too thick. One small issue I will say we've been having is the toilet paper thing again. And I say small issue because uh, stores have been getting it back in, but we are noticing it like some of the cheaper stores. That's why I think that more and more people are coming to Aldi, and we've been seeing more and more people at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, trying to save a buck. Um, and yeah, it is... Uh, this is a dollar cheaper than the Kroger brand. They do have a bunch of their paper products, though. They do have a good amount of paper towels. Uh, some people randomly ask about paper plates and cheapest place to find those. Um, you know, Boulder is a good brand. We've used a lot of these. Their paper plates, these are solid. We had some people over and we bought a bunch of these and uh, 50 of them for $4.69. Uh, I think one time we were at Meyer and it was like $6.99 for the Dixie but I mean it's the same thing and you save two bucks with all these prices fluctuating and everything it's kind of hard to keep up with it all family size at Kroger is going to be going up to 469 I think they do have it here at Aldi for 364 which is a little bit of a better deal and um, yeah Kroger's has really shot up on the cereal lately uh, in price and we noticed even at Walmart it was starting to go up too we get a lot of comments on different chicken broths. Uh, some of you guys have said that you've been having trouble finding some. I will say that we've used the uh, broth, the chicken broth for our uh, chicken and dumplings, $1.25 a box. Now we've seen that Swanson has been like $2.69. You'll find a sale on it, like two for four every now and then, but normally Swanson is $2.69 pretty much everywhere you go. This is arguably just as good or better. We've been using it a lot. $1.25 for four cups. That's a great deal. One of the things you guys had mentioned was applesauce. I haven't tried it. Uh, I ended up putting it back the last time I was here because we have a bunch of the Mott's that I forgot about. But the Sweet Harvest uh, original applesauce is supposed to be really good. We've gotten good comments on it. $1.29 for 24 ounces. And they have the Simply Nature unsweetened applesauce 46 ounces for 219 they are out of the uh somebody had mentioned the peach or no it was the strawberry the fruit squeezies they are out of those i haven't seen those in a while also we've got nothing but good comments on the dakota's beans one thing i wanted to point out that somebody had mentioned that the pork and beans that they have here in the tomato sauce is exactly like the van camps pork and beans van camps has gone up to a dollar nine a can uh, sometimes you can find it on sale for a dollar, but 55 cents a can here, I have to try those. We got a lot of comments on the Simply Nature um, products that they have. They actually have a special cap end cap here for them. Um, I haven't tried any of these, but they do have the sweet potato chips that some people asked about. $3.12. Uh, I'm assuming that that's probably cheaper than what you would get at Kroger of their version, but I'm not really sure. Uh, here's the Simply Nature Organic Granola Bars Chocolate Chip or Vanilla. Um, I only see the chocolate chip. $2.39 a box though. Some people were saying that the name brand of these uh, is like $3.99 a box. But $2.39, that's a great price. Haven't tried these. Uh, they do have a couple of vanilla. Just gotta look at the tops there. Blue one's vanilla. 
Chocolate with chocolate. I saw some cashews up here, and I remember someone asking about honey roasted. I gotta admit, I've never seen honey roasted cashews ever, but they do have these roasted cashews. I don't know, that's just regular, that's not honey roasted, but I don't know. I don't know, I haven't, haven't seen those around. I've been, I've been checking. So I wanted to come back to show the deal on these pork chops, $2.79 a pound, but I gotta say, these pork chops, they look amazing. Uh, you know, I, I feel like it would definitely be worth it. Never tried them. Uh, usually by the time we come to Aldi, we've got, you know, our freezers full. But uh, we're going to have to get these sometimes. We got a lot of good comments on these a while back. But $2.79 a pound seems like a pretty good deal for pork chops that look this good. One issue that we've been having all across the city has been spices. We've seen groceries, we've seen Kroger, Meyer, Walmart. Spices are really low. And I will say, this isn't as much as they usually have. Usually this is filled to the brim. But they've got, you know, a good amount here. And they're all 95 cents. So that's a pretty good deal. It amazes me all the different oils that I've learned with you guys in the comments. Like, I never even heard of some of these grapeseed oil. I mean, sounds cool. Here's some of the avocado oil that um, somebody left in the comments. $6.99 really isn't that bad of a deal. 100% avocado oil. We've seen in some stores avocado oil for like $20 or more. And it's like, that's just way too much for me. But yeah, I mean, they do have a lot of, not a lot, but you know, a good variety of oils. And as far as the pet food is, they never really carry much pet food, but they look, do look like they're getting wiped out for what they do carry. They always seem to have some of these, and a lot of you guys have compared the heart-to-tail cat entrees um, at, at Fancy Feast, compared it to Fancy Feast. 49 cents a can, too. That's pretty good. Another major issue that we are seeing in a lot of different stores right now is cooking oil. We have found that cooking oil is very low, but they do have a lot of vegetable oil here that we find for way cheaper, $2.95. They do have canola oil for $2.85, and they have a ton of it. Uh, we have seen that it's been next to empty at like Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, um, just really empty. Another thing, an issue has sort of been flour, more for you guys. We've had plenty of flour around the city, but we've been hearing that a lot has been missing across the country and sugar. We have heard that sugar has been missing across the country too. They are very low here, but I will say that um, most of the grocery stores around here seem to have plenty of sugar. Now, I don't see any Folgers. I know someone was looking for Folgers Instant Coffee, saying that they've had trouble finding it. And then when they did find it finally, they said it didn't taste the same. I, I don't really know, but I do know that they have... Somebody commented on the uh, Beaumont Coffee here. $2.75 for a 7-ounce jar. Uh, doesn't seem like too bad of a price. And they do have the Nescafe, a little more expensive, $5.38 of the Classico brand. So it does seem like they're a little low on milk, but I will say it's the cheapest we've seen it. $1.89 a gallon. Never tried their milk before. Uh, we're big fans of Kroger milk um, and United Dairy Farmers milk. That's usually what we get. Uh, and they do still have eggs. 98 cents a carton for uh, grade A large eggs. And you can't beat that. Freezer aisles are kind of like everywhere else around here. And part of it does seem like like a lot more people are shopping here. Uh, it could be for a multitude of reasons. Maybe uh, prices, trying to save a little bit of money. Could be that stores are not having products in. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. They do have a lot of the Mama Cozy things that people have asked about. Um, not a lot, but they have a few of them, like these uh, toasted ravioli. Not a big fan of toasted ravioli, but may try one of those at some point. They do have the four cheese one that somebody had said was awesome. I know in one of my Stouffer's comments, someone told me that I need to try the Bremer brand Bistro Lasagna and the meat sauce from Aldi here. Said that this is your favorite lasagna. Well, they, they finally got it back in. I know we looked for this the last time and they didn't have it. $7.29 for a pretty giant size uh, lasagna is a pretty good deal. Uh, and they have these specially selected shrimp and lobster bakes uh, and the lobster mac and cheese. That's what somebody had mentioned. Um, $6.99. Seems like a decent deal for an 18 ounce portion. Somebody had told us to try the breakfast best uh, croissants, breakfast sausages. Uh, I will say that these taste nothing like Jimmy Dean. Um, they were okay, little bland on the egg and the croissant. The sausage was okay, but yeah, nothing like Jimmy Dean. 
Uh, they are a little cheaper for sure. Well, that was our trip to Aldi. A uh, lot of stuff missing, kind of expected that. Uh, we did have that ice storm a few days ago, but for the most part, they're a lot more packed with stuff than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like some of the other stores where they were gonna be wiped out. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff is missing, a, a ton compared to what it was a couple weeks ago. But it, they have hamburger, they have chicken. We saw that Kroger's was completely wiped out on chicken and meat and stuff like that, uh, hamburger. But, you know, for the most part, Aldi's looks pretty good. And boy, it's hard to beat them prices. Absolutely love Aldi. Thank you so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.